a special guest joining us. It is Rick Moore, the owner of Moore Security Services. His business has surveillance cameras pointing directly at the Solis family home. Rick Moore, thank you for being with us. Rick, uh, question. You own Moore Security Services, M-O-O-R-E, and your specialty is, in fact, uh, surveillance cameras and other security devices. Is that correct? That's absolutely correct. Uh, we also do intrusion, and it's Moore Security Solutions, Nancy. <laughs> Thanks. So m a lot of people are wondering why would you have cameras trained on the Solis family home? Explain. You know, Nancy, Nancy, that was almost a coincidence. Really, our thought process when we set the cameras up was to protect the back of our facility. Our showroom is literally about 25 yards from where we're standing right now. We put a couple of cameras in the back to protect the back entry in case of intrusion on our showroom, to protect the vehicles that are parked there for the employees. And, uh, of course, there's a lot of graffiti and tagging going on, so we were hoping to maybe uh, use it for that. And we have seen uh, tagging going on. but. Coincidentally, the cameras are looking right over in this area. We've got a couple cameras that are facing the alleyway and then one that happens to see uh, right towards the street that Isabel lives on. Okay, Rick Moore, everyone joining us, the owner of Moore Security Services, actually has cameras trained on the Solis family home. Have cops come to your place and taken or looked at video of that uh, alley behind the Solis family home which was being videoed at the time of the kidnap. Uh, they certainly have, Nancy. They contacted us right away about 8.30 on Saturday morning. We do have some signs up in the back of the showroom area where the cameras are located. has their phone number on them, so what they did was they contacted us right away. My general manager came down to the facility, to the showroom, interviewed for four or five hours with detectives, looked at uh, footage then, uh, reviewed footage, then came back Monday and spent basically all day. Then they had us record the information for them on a uh, USB drive. We furnished them with all the information that was stored on the hard drive on a digital recorder. They took it with them. Hopefully they've got it now and they're pouring over that information that may uh, provide some leads for this investigation. Okay, very quickly, Rick, where is the original video? Uh, the police have it now. I okay. imagine it's at a substation and hopefully they're pouring over it, Nancy. And, you know, the reason I'm asking that is because there becomes a whole lot of issues at trial trying to get things into evidence that are duplicates when the law requires the highest and best evidence. In other words, the original video. I was just immediately thinking ahead. Okay, Rick, have you seen the video? Uh, you know, I saw bits and pieces of it, Nancy. What did the, you see? Uh, detectives and the investigators. I'm sorry? What did you see? What did I see? Yes. You know, we saw what we see is uh, a lot of vehicles, Nancy. We did see some people coming through the alleyway. The uh, cameras are trained right onto the alley, which leads right from where we're standing right now. So we see cars coming in and out, a lot of vehicles, makes, models, color, things of that nature. And I'm sure that's what the police are using to investigate it. We also saw some people wandering through the alley. Um, whether that's pertinent information, I'm not sure, but it is information that the police took with them, and I'm sure they're chasing down those leads. Put Rick Moore up, please. Rick Moore, you're telling me the camera's trained on the back alley of the Sleaze home. That's where Isabel's window is, and you observed cars. You can make out car tags, car numbers, and you saw people in that alley? You know, Nancy, they're basically on the alleyway that's right behind where we're standing. There's another alley behind Isabel's house right here. Our cameras, where they are in the back of our showroom, again, about 25 yards away, can see up and down Isabel's street.